remember that day and what does it mean to you 60 years on? Good evening. I remember the day very vividly. It was Sunday the 26th of June 1955 and it was bright, clear, something like today here in Cape Town and we arrived early in the morning and small groups started coming in and later large groups streamed in and started to fill what seemed like rows and rows of uh, small benches. The site was a strip of felt and the benches were lined up as I've just said and in front of them was a raised rather well constructed platform and the meeting began and the discussion centered around many of the uh, issues that were discussed over two years in different places all over South Africa, in farms, in trade union uh, organizations, in factories, uh, in uh, townships, wherever people were and wherever people worked, there were discussions on the Freedom Charter about land, about uh, education, about labor rights, about the right to vote, about elections, about peace and security and housing, whatever worried the people. It was a time when apartheid was being implemented very fiercely and quite brutally and the people who were talking about these matters were often victims of the struggle and they therefore came to the meeting determined to say what they had to say about every possible unjust law that they could think of and the discussion lasted from early morning until later on in the afternoon and I do remember very vividly sitting on the platform and watching out at the perimeter of the meeting area and there I saw hundreds of mounted police on horses of course and they streamed into the meeting area, surrounded it very efficiently and prevented any opportunity for exit. Um, Leon, I'd like to come in there. We are now 20 years into our democracy. As a signatory of the Freedom Charter, would you say we're living up to the values of this charter as a nation? Yes, I think we have. If you look at the Freedom Charter and look at each of the uh, subjects for discussion and what is signed up to there, we have uh, labor rights, the constitution of the country embodies much of what was uh, wanted and desired on education, on water, on land, on peace and security, on uh, the issues of housing, uh, medical problems. These were the issues. We haven't achieved all of them. It's a work in progress. And uh, the uh, main point is we've started on them. As far as the labor legislation, it is the greatest transformation in this country. The, uh, the right to, uh, uh, to join trade unions, the right to bargain, the right to effectively uh, identify your problems and uh, seek redress 
that in a sense is one of the most remarkable achievements in this country and was uh, clearly written into the freedom char into the freedom charter and uh, later the constitution of this country now as speaking of a other, work in progress uh, i the ideals around yes. wealth redistribution and land ownership have remained difficult to execute. Why has this been the case? I think these things are uh, uh, not all that easy to... Uh, we're a democracy, and in a democracy, you have to take all aspects into consideration. If we've made mistakes in not doing it quickly enough, we have to acknowledge that. I don't work in that particular area, but I do understand that uh, the progress has not been as fast as I would have liked it to have been, but we are moving in that direction. Who would have said uh, 20 five years ago, that we would have got as far as we have got now. Yes, expectations are very high and the young people are impatient and so they should be radical and should be listened to and uh, it should be, uh, we should seek their support in trying to move on faster. So uh, I take your point and I say, yes, we haven't been quick enough, but we have be, we've started the work, and yes, a work in progress. Mr. Levy, unfortunately, we've run out of time. Thank you very much for joining us on the News at 8. That was Leon Levy. He is one of the signatories of the Freedom Charter, talking to us as the ANC and the rest of South Africa celebrate 60 years since the adoption of this historical document.